All right, Interactive ATV Trails here with a review. This time we're at uh, Massa Valley. We tried to make it up to Notch Peak, um, but uh, had to take a slight detour. Um, we first started heading up Miller Canyon. Uh, the trailhead's just outside of Miller Canyon at the mouth of it. And uh, the road going up the canyon's nice initially, um, and then um, it gets nasty real quick. Way nasty. We, uh, you know, we haven't encountered a trail yet where we felt like we needed to turn around because it was so nasty, but this trail was one of those. It's the first time ever we've turned around, right? It is. Yeah, and so, so we ended up turning around, but before we got into the nasty part, there's an abandoned mine shaft um, up at up Miller Canyon that is really neat. You can actually look down the mine, uh, the elevator, and see the mine below, and then, what, 300 yards? Yeah. 300 yards kind of to the northwest um, is the shaft, and it's open, you can walk in it, and you walk in and then you take a, a, a U-turn down another shaft and then it'll eventually take you so you can look right up, straight up the elevator shaft that you were just looking down. Yep. Uh, real neat, uh, full of bats and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so if you can't, if you just want to see that, it, going up Miller Canyon is definitely worth, the, worth it for that. But uh, it's definitely not the way to get to Notch Peak if you're... No. <laughs> and so what we did was we uh, we turned around, came back to the trailhead, and from the trailhead there's a trail one, and that takes you kind of, uh, what direction is that, northeast? Yeah. yeah. Northeast and just takes you along the bench of the mountains until eventually you um, meet up with the sinkhole. Right. Got to make sure you throw in the sinkhole. That was pretty amazing. That was worth the trip right there. Absolutely. If you're not uh, familiar with what we're talking about, it's, uh, you know, we were thinking, I was thinking just a typical sinkhole, you know, maybe, you know, 50 feet in diameter, maybe, you know, 20, 30 feet deep. This thing was several hundred feet deep. Yeah, it's the size of a football field, basically. It's, it's huge. It's huge. It's worth, it's worth going out there. So there's two things you need to see. You need to see the mine and you need to see the sinkhole. So on, on trail one, as you wind around the mountain headed to the north, and then when you head back to the west, uh, the trail gets a little more... Uh, steep and it's a little and it's a little rocky but not too bad but man the colors that were out today there's you'll be driving along in sagebrush and and nothing you know really to speak of and then up in the distance we saw this uh, couple stands of quakies that were just bright yellow and just really out of place it looked like but what a beautiful couple spots like that on the on the trail one that were just spectacular this time of year yeah and the closer you get to the the top the trail doesn't actually take you to notch peak it, it's it stops probably about two or three miles to the north and you have to walk the rest of the way and it's not an easy hike from there it's really steep but the trail up to where you have to get off to walk gets a little steep and it gets a little twisty and turny and um, there are ruts that could cause you some grief but um, overall I would say that part's you know moderate I wouldn't call it difficult. No. Um, and so... Just got to watch out for the deep ruts. Make sure you, you know, your speed's down a little bit. And anticipating, look ahead, and make sure that you stay out of those deep ruts, and, and, and you'll be fine. But once you get to the summit, as far as the trail will take you, the views are breathtaking. The yeah. vistas, as far as you can see, you can get catch a glimpse of the side of Notch Peak. Um, it's just, it's amazing. And it actually catches you by surprise. Yeah. You get to the top and you realize that you're at 9,000 9, feet looking straight down. It's, it's pretty amazing. And then uh, this isn't part of the Amasa OHV system, but we took another detour out to the Hermit's Cave or the Hermit's, uh, Hermit's House. Yeah, you get on uh, the old 650, Highway 650. It's the old uh, dirt road out of Delta. And you get down in there and you can, uh, you can Google that and it'll give you the exact coordinates and I, I think we're going to put that on the website exactly where that is but great story uh, great ride a beautiful canyon and it just takes you back to a time you know to think about somebody living out there all by themselves most of their life you know this is around world war the end of world war ii uh, just it's amazing yeah and there's still a, a nice a nice uh, ruin there of his house it's still it's worth the trip definitely uh, so in summary i would say miller canyon is extremely difficult 
it's not the way to go if you want to get up to a massive valley um, and also to Notch Peak. That's definitely not the way to go. If you want to go, if you want to get there, take Trail 1 from, from the trailhead. Um, and I would call Trail 1 easy. Yeah, Trail 1's a, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's Rocky, a lot of fun. it's got big rocks. If you're on a, if you're on a sport quad, it's, uh, you got to kind of go slow because there are some big rocks that stick up. But if you're on a on a on a bike, uh, yeah, it's easy, easy on a bike. A little more difficult for a sport quad, uh, a regular you know regular quad sportsman, grizzly type thing, no problem. Uh, razor stuff like that. It, great trail, nice 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 ride. So this is interactive ATV trails. I hope you've enjoyed the video and hope you found it informative. Um, look at our check out our other trails um, and hopefully this encourages you and gets you excited about going out and exploring all that this beautiful country has to offer.